So, we're in Callum Island, which is supposedly a cool, trendy part of Sheffield. I just think it's full of shit flats. But this is a fat cat, which is a pretty uh, famous Sheffield pub. I don't know why, but it is. Let's have a little look inside, shall we? So, I used to come in here quite a lot. Oh, wrong place. Let's go this way. Let's go to the tap room. Should we go in the tap room? I don't know. Are they here? Do you think? I don't know. So this is the famous fat cat. Oh, hello. Good to see you. Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good. Likewise, we've switched over. You've got always got a roof over your head. And, um, and if they can do that, you kind of. Um, and you can use it. Yes. yes. No, I'm very grateful. If it wasn't, if it weren't for my parents, I'd be fucked. Yeah, but it's not a perfect thing. You waited. Yeah. Uh, yes. Can I get our so, Mark's bought me a pint. Yeah. Now, I did make a promise to God that I was going to be sober for a year, didn't I? But I'm kind of in a bit of a fuck God place right now. And also, I've decided I'm giving up gay sex, which is for God. So, if I'm giving up gay sex, cannabis, then I think I can have a fucking pint, don't you? So, I'm here to see Sister Jane and her partner Mark. Auntie Sue's here, Sister Jane. Hi, Sister Jane. You alright? So, baking the sobriety. Let's see how it goes. Cheers. Where's the vodka? Can you get any hammer with Mark? <laughs> So I didn't get nearly as much Callum Island footage because I love Mark so much and chatting to him is so great. But this is where I lived when I was a drug dealer and I had to escape. So Mr. Wade built that. It was pretty much the first flats to get built down here in Callum Island. I remember them being about, if I remember that, oh, maybe it was 140 grand. We were either 50 grand or 150 grand. My God, I dread to think what we are now. Uh, yeah, Callum Island has gone boom! So what do you do when you get home at half eight and you've had two pints? So you're a bit too pissed to do any YouTube because I don't drink for you, so I'm a little bit tipsy. Well, he has another fucking beer, do not he? Once he pops, you can't stop. But I am, I'm just like... You know what's surprising me is like, I thought I'd love smoking if I was having a drink, but they're really not satisfying. The idea of having a coffee is just like, nah, I'm not after alcohol. So I might just go to bed. Or I might just drink another five of these, I don't fucking know. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. So it's now the morning after the night before. How do I feel about baking sobriety and how drunk did I get? Well, I didn't actually finish that bottle. I passed out on the sofa while editing a video. And I don't really give a fuck about baking sobriety with alcohol. If it had been cannabis, it would be a very different story. If it had been cannabis, I'd be walking along now like, Ooh, hey guys, smoking again. Because I've got no control over that demon, that addiction, that coping mechanism. But alcohol isn't really an issue for me. Now, the way I see it is I've basically given up a hell of a lot recently. I've given up cannabis. I've given up... <laughs> but I didn't give up my life in Thailand, I got deported from my life in Thailand. I've given up being a businessman, you know, I've, I've been on a real humbling journey. I now pull weeds out of the ground for £15 an hour. And very recently I've decided I'm giving up gay sex as well. Giving up the notion of gay relationships and giving up the notion of being gay at all. So if I go for a family meal and they're all drinking, I'm going to have a fucking pint. So yeah, I feel absolutely fine with it. Obviously, there's no desire to drink again now. In fact, quite the opposite. I'm a bit like, ugh, I drank last night. And not from a judgment point of view, just so I can feel it in my body. I feel super depressed. Um, yeah, I've just, I've just edited the Bakewell video. You might have seen it by now. Fuck me, I could not be asked with that. And I even said it in the video. But yeah, that guy you briefly saw last night, Mark, oh my God, I wish I'd, you know, I wish I'd done more recording, but you know, they don't really want to be on camera. But he is just great. So he's my favorite family member, even though he's not really a family member, as in he's not a greater ex, he's not blood. Uh, but he's been dating my sister for, it's got to be more than a decade now. And he's just great. Like he's not fully conscious, uh, but he gets it. You know, he really does get it. And he, and he can, yeah, I mean, you can speak about it. So I don't want to say too much because I don't want to drop him in it with his work or anything like that. 
Um, but you know, he doesn't fall for any of the woke nonsense, put it that way. And I just feel this like massive love and warmth to him. And yeah, it's just so nice to have someone in my family who actually understands me. And then there's my sister who almost understands me. I really like her. She is a bit annoying. Like, she doesn't appreciate who I am or where I've come from. Like, she doesn't realise that I'm a psychological genius and she tries to argue with me uh, on certain points. And I'm just like, what are you doing? Like, you've worked in an office all your life. <laughs> Stop it. But, having said that, she is great. And she loves me a lot. And I definitely want to spend more time with those two, particularly Mark. <laughs> but no, I want to spend more time with those two. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. Very naughty! So I've just kicked Margot four times. She's just launched herself at a dog for the first time in ages. What are you doing? She's also started sleeping with me. So all those plebs that are like, Oh, the doggy feels in me! This dog is obsessed with me. I don't know how she's going to survive, if I ever leave. Ah, so, Mark was giving me career ideas career ideas oh my god i can't believe i just said that short term job ideas until i escape this fucking shithole and he's come up with one that's really good i'm not going to go into it because the haters will try moving it for me but you know it'd be two grand a month and it would quite suit me i think i could actually maybe get it if i change my name on youtube and take my name off youtube ah so but it's full time like do i really want to work full fucking time Maybe I need to give up the YouTube because my YouTube is basically a full-time job right now and the gym is a full-time job right now. I don't want to give up the gym and it would mean going to the gym in the evenings which is a very different thing. It's a very different place in the evening. It's not as relaxing. Uh, but I think I'm just going to have to buy it the bullet and do it. Uh, then it brings up, well if I'm earning that much money, would I get my own place? But I can't trust myself. If I get my own place I just know I'm going to start smoking weed again. Which I think the main thing right now is for me to just stay away from the weed because that's how the devil really gets me. Sure, he gets me with a dick, but I think that one's done. I really think that one's done because there was that one fucking incredible twink that I met. But apart from that, and even that, you know, it's so fleeting and so meaningless, really. You know, like what am I going to do? Keep trawling grinder, and inevitably, if you're on grinder, you end up just sucking horrible dicks. Um, in the hope that you know one fucking amazing twink will let me in once a year right no of course i'm fucking not and now i'm over any delusions of a gay relationship ever working <sighs> what am i on about i don't even know what i'm fucking ramming on about basically i want to fucking die i think is is the upshoot of it but <laughs> i can't kill myself well i mean i just can't do it anyway but because i know that this life is just something you have to get through to fucking get into heaven or some bullshit like that but um you know i still do have some assets that could go kaboom so it's like are you really gonna top yourself when in a year's time you could be filthy fucking rich and your situation could look very very different so no i'm not i'm going to keep on living this shit life in this shit country so auntie sue's just left and she said something really interesting as she left other than don't put me on YouTube. LOL! Soy Sue! Um, she said that she's seen a big difference in the UK for the first time. So she comes back at least every five years. And this is the first time that she has seen, you know, that everyone's miserable. But no, that everyone's, you know, very negative. It's a very negative energy. Not so much in her friends, because, you know, we're all geriatric millionaires. And we've only got ten years to live anyway, and live a very settled life. But um, she's seen, she mentioned a difference in the roads and infrastructure, you know, it's all falling apart. Uh, the main thing she mentioned was, you know, there's a real negativity in the air. Now, I don't know if that's been hanging around with me for four days. Because <laughs> I'm pretty fucking negative at the moment. The other famous original pub in Callum Island, apparently there's loads of pubs now. But yeah, it used to just be the Fat Cat and the Callum Island Tavern when I lived here. And then there was Riverside down there. But those were the two famous Callum Island pubs. But yeah, apparently there's loads now. Because it's a really cool, trendy area. But I am... I'm just like... You know what's surprising me is like, I thought I'd love smoking if I was having a drink, but they're really not satisfying. 
The idea of having a coffee is just like, nah, I'm not after alcohol. So I might just go to bed. Or I might just drink another five of these. I don't fucking know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes.